Did you know, as of me recording this video, there are 14 versions of Minecraft that have been discontinued. And as of June 2021, that will be 15 because Minecraft Earth is joining those discontinuations. So what is today's video about? Well, today in this video, I want to focus on the most recent updated requirements to play Minecraft. There has been a lot of discontinuation for Minecraft, specifically for the Bedrock version. So I want to show you guys what the requirements are for your specific version, for your specific device, just to keep you all updated. If you do enjoy today's video, do me an absolute solid and leave a like and share this video so other people who are wondering why their version might have been discontinued or if their version is safe can find out. So Minecraft recently did an update and this update was here, last updated on the 20th of the 3rd, 2021. And I'm talking about the requirements for each and every version of Minecraft that is currently active. That being Minecraft Java, Minecraft Bedrock, iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, Switch, and of course, PlayStation 4. I'll leave a link down below in case you guys wanna check it out for yourself. So let's start off with some good news. Here is the feedback page for the forward slash locate biome on bedrock edition. After doing that video the other day, we smashed over 1000 likes. It's currently on 1326 and on the official feedback website, I think it's like second or third. This is going to be such an important command for the Mine Minecraft bedrock community. Uh, specifically, a lot of people want this, including myself for the most recent betas, because sometimes in a brand new world, trying to find those specific mountain biomes can be quite frustrating. Besides that, I think the other thing that people want on Bedrock is spectator mode. The fact that those things are not available is incredibly frustrating. So let's get into the system requirements. We're gonna start off with Minecraft Java Edition. What you guys can see here is the minimum requirements. The CPU is an Intel Core i3 or AMD A87600. You need a minimum requirement of two gigabytes of RAM. The OS needs to be Windows 7 and up or OS X 10.10 Yoshimite Linux various by OS. But for screen read functional functionality, we require Orca 3.32 or higher. For your video card, integrated Intel HD Graphics 4000, Ivy Bridge or AMD Radeon R5 series with OpenGL 4.41 discrete. You need to have the minimum requirement of a NVIDIA GeForce 400 series or AMD Radeon HD 7000 series with OpenGL 4.4. Pixel Shader 5.0, Vertex Shader 5.0, and free disk space at least one gigabyte. Now, unfortunately guys, I can't remember the previous requirements for all of these. I think specifically these have been updated mainly for the Bedrock version, because like I said, going back over the last one month, we've seen a lot of discontinuation, specifically when it comes to the Android version, the KitKat OS. Now here is your recommended requirements for Minecraft, CPU, Intel Core i5, or AMD A107800 APU with a RAM of four gigabyte or higher, OS, Windows 10 or Mac OS 10.13 high Syria, video card, GeForce 700 series or AMD Radeon RX 200 series with OpenGL 4.5, Pixel Shader 5.0, Vertex Shader 5.0, free disk space, four gigabytes and dedicated video RAM 256 MB. It says at the bottom for desktop and laptops, you can run either version Java or Windows 10. Minecraft for Windows 10 can be installed from the Microsoft Store or through Xbox Game Pass. Minecraft Java Edition can be installed from our website and then posted a link. So in terms of recommended requirements and minimum requirements when it comes to the pixel shaders or the pixel shader, they're the exact same on the minimum requirements as the recommended. Now, this is where things get a little bit more interesting because I think Minecraft Windows 10 is a little bit more demanding compared to the Java version. Now, it says here Minecraft Windows 10 minimum requirements. OS, Windows 10 version 1.3, uh, sorry, 1.7.1.3.4.0 or higher. Architecture ARM times 64 or times 86. RAM, 
four gigabytes CPU Intel Celion J4105 AMD FX4100 video card Intel HD Graphics 4000 AMD Rayodon R5 DirectX 12 FL11. So just doing a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison here in terms of uh, RAM for the requirements. For the minimum requirements of RAM, Java just needs two. When it comes to the minimum requirements of Bedrock Windows 10, it's minimum requirement of four gigabyte. Now let's get into the recommended requirements. Of course, we have the OS Windows 10 version or higher. The architect's uh, arm, I think, is the exact same. It says recommended requirements of RAM is 8 gigabytes. CPU recommended is an i7 and an AMD A86600K. GPU, NVIDIA GeForce 740M, AMD Radeon HD 8570D. So the recommended requirements are way bigger compared to Minecraft Java when the recommended requirements for Java when it comes to your video graphics card is GeForce 700 series. Meanwhile, the Windows 10 is 940, which is a massive difference considering Minecraft Bedrock is no way near up to the standard of Minecraft Java. So moving on to the console players, if you're a Minecraft Bedrock console player, here we have the Xbox, the PlayStation, and Nintendo uh, Switch settings and recommendations. It says, Xbox. Minecraft for Xbox One is playable on the following Xbox consoles. Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S. Your device must meet all requirements to use this product. OS, Xbox One. Minecraft can be installed from... Microsoft Store on Xbox One or through Xbox Game Pass. For PlayStation, Minecraft for PlayStation 4 is playable on PS4 and PS5 consoles. Minecraft can be installed from PlayStation Store or PS4 and PS5. Nintendo. Minecraft for Nintendo is playable on Nintendo Switch. Minecraft can be installed from the Nintendo eShop. Game file size 463 MB. Supported play modes, TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode. So I just want to explain to you guys in case anybody's interested in getting an Xbox to play Minecraft because you don't have an Xbox. I own li literally about seven different Xbox Ones. Now I have the original Xbox and the Xbox Series X, which is literally right next to me right now. Doing a comparison, there really is not that much difference. Minecraft on Series X has not been optimized. In fact, it runs the same way on my Series X that it does on my Xbox One X and my Xbox One S. I think I'm being over-exaggerated saying the original Xbox runs the same as the Series X. It's not built because of, it's not because of the Xbox itself. It's just because Minecraft Bedrock on Xbox is not optimized. And it doesn't really run very, very well. So, yeah, like, if you're considering getting an Xbox to play Minecraft, I would probably say an Xbox One S if you don't have a lot of funds, or even an Xbox One X. You don't necessarily need a Series X. For anybody who plays on iOS devices, whether it's an iPhone, an iPod, or an iPad, here is the iOS device um, recommendations. Minecraft for iOS, size 289.4 MB. Requires iOS 10.0 or later, Compatible with iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Playable on Apple devices that has iOS 10.0 or later. So if you have a device that doesn't let you update to the 10.0 OS, then it's going to be outdated. Although, we have heard quite a lot on discontinuations recently for Bedrock. It hasn't been for iOS. It's specifically been for Android devices. So moving over to Android, it says here... Android devices, size 95.1 MB, version 1.14.60.5, access the list of accounts in the accounts service, read from external storage, minimum operating system, Android Lollipop 5.0, Android are cross-platform compatible, which it doesn't really explain to the dedicated devices you need. But a big shout out to Mr. Monkey, who shared this with me. So Android has code names. Starting from the top, you've got like no code name, no code name, cupcake, donut, eclair, froyo, gingerbread, 
honeycomb, ice cream sandwich, jelly bean, Kit Kat. So, Kit Kat and everything below it has now been discontinued to play Minecraft. The only versions of Android that will support Minecraft being caves and cliffs going forward will be Lollipop, which is version 5.0 to 5.1.1. And then you've got um, Marshmallow, Nougat, Nougat, Oreo, Oreo Pie, Android 10, and Android 11. So devices that were running KitKat, which was released on October 31st, 2013. So it's quite outdated, will no longer be supported and everything below. So again, the minimum requirements have literally reduced, meaning that like Minecraft is becoming quite big and it's becoming quite demanding. And it kind of makes sense though. Minecraft is getting bigger and better. And I feel like they've had to do a lot of sacrifices, although it sucks for a lot of people. It is going to be overall better for Minecraft in the long run. So I hope today's video has helped you out. Any more questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll try and answer them the best I can. But if you guys are watching this video and you see somebody struggling in the comment section, also go and help them out. I do really appreciate it. So have a great day. There are the requirements and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.